On today's Spit Hit, we're going to talk about playing board games against professionals, dirty underwear protocol, and we're going to break down, like, do you prioritize a friend's feelings or do you prefer financial gain? Enjoy the show. Hey, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow the podcast and tell your friends because here we go. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Scoop, doop, scoop, and doop, come on! Welcome in, everybody. Oh, man, your, your face told me you were, I thought you were feeling that scat so much you were about to just jump in. I did think about dropping a little diddly dee oh, at the end. You should have. Uh, welcome into the Spitballers podcast. Yet another fabulous episode. Back in studio, Jason Moore is here. Mike Wright. I'm Andy Holloway. It's nice to be back in the studio together, mm-hmm. to be able to not have to look at a Zoom screen. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's my that's the, yeah, my favorite great. part. You, you're not enjoying Mike? company my You're just presence? so close to me oh i mean we've got to be able to hold hands or else why would we even be in person <sighs> welcome into the show we have would you rather on today's episode some life advice we're going to dole out always valuable because yeah, if when you think about it almost everybody has a life and uh-huh. they can apply the advice i to have been told life. i've been told to get a life right and it, did you i not sure. <laughs> How do you even <laughs> yeah. know? How does one measure that? Can you go someplace and they'll tell you, yes, sir, you, you do have a life now. Yeah, I mean, this is the place where you arrive for those conclusions. Mike, I can inform you, you do have a oh, life. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, uh, I know, I, was, uh, put, I, put, I put the suspense on it for you, but... When um, you unsubscribe from World of Warcraft, that is the moment in which you, have an, the, you got a life. <laughs> you've obtained <laughs> the life. But yeah, What's, I mean, a lot of what people... What is this feeling? <laughs> It's a life. <laughs> they they pay a lot of money for life advice, yes. and they go uh, to other know, people, to, to professionals for that advice. And now you're getting it for free, right? And this is like high quality, mm-hmm. really important. Should always take it. Understated, but really important life advice. Uh, we have a draft today, which I think will be really, really fun. <laughs> It is, it's going to be a wild one. Uh, this is up there with the best colors draft oh. for me. So I'm I'm excited. I, I'll be honest. I felt a little uneducated. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I, I just didn't. It's been a while since I've taken some high school uh, chemistry. It's not all, like, when you well, you have to start the show with the scat. That means you have the 101 right. in our draft. And it's not always where you're really happy you have the but first But you pick. are. But it, I mean, in, in a draft like this, where there's such a clear first pick, there is such a clear first pick. There is, right? and there is a clear first Wait, pick. You both agree with that, one hundred percent. I have I just no don't idea. Know if, I don't know that Mike <laughs> has any idea either. Oh, you don't know whether Mike's even right. Right, we'll okay. find out. It's going to be fun. Um, but I, I have asked Al Borland, who is here. Al, say hello. What's up, Spitwads? Um, I have asked him to vet our answers because there is the chance on today's draft. That somebody misfires. I will be honest. When I was creating my list, I put something on there because, like, of course, this is an element. And then we are drafting the best elements on the periodic <laughs> periodic table. And after I put it on my list, it's like I don't think that's actually. <laughs> and were you right? It wasn't. I uh, yeah. That is. It's not yeah, I element. had one written down that was wrong as well. <laughs> so we'll go over our invented unobtainium. Uh, no, it's a real thing. It's just not actually yes, an element. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Now Jace is like, wait. That now I'm be a, worried. That can <laughs> be now, a- <laughs> now I'm Googling. Uh, at Spitballers Pod, if you want to follow us on Twitter, appreciate everybody who has left us reviews. Subscribe to the show. Uh, we do read them all, and they, um, they make us happy. Mm-hmm. All right. Without further ado, let's jump in. Would you rather? All right. All right. Our first. <laughs> oh, no. First, would you rather question comes from <laughs> one of our patrons. Old McDonald says, would you rather personally carry to term and birth one additional child Ooh. or have three additional children the traditional way? Mm. 
how many kids do you want in your house? And wait, how many do you want in your tummy? So wait, just to be clear, this question is really specific to us. Would we personally rather carry to term and birth one child or just like our wives carry to term yes, three additional children? Yes, right. So we, we all are fathers of three. Your family will either your family's expanding either way. Now, but is your body expanding? Are you are you taking it to six? I don't I'm not worried. I don't give a crap about the body expansion. I watched, You're carrying it yourself? No, I'm saying that that's the problem. Is I watched my wife give birth to all my kids and she did uh she did two of them. We did home birth for two, which that's an on natural thing with with no painkillers. It looked unpleasant. Mm-hmm. It looked very very two thumbs un- down. <laughs> very, like, I mean, I I hurt and I didn't even <laughs> Right. I was I was just you almost uh, pass out. Yeah, her physical pain was so intense that it transferred over to me. And I was like, man, let's let's we should really be worried about what's going on with me right now. Uh, so the the actual thought of having to do that, like, I I think one of the best parts about being the dad is you not doing that. Is not you don't do the pregnancy part. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, you get out of it. But is it worth having? Three. That's a lot of more, more kids. kids, and and these aren't triplets. Okay, so you're going to be adding and adding oh, and adding. Man. That's that's more. That's you know, it's even about if you, double your current kids. <laughs> it's about double, but it's a. It's also about the length yeah, of time, it's right? Not just double, because it's you know we. It's probably three solid years of the newborn. Well, I you're mean, gonna what? What age do you get out of diapers? Is that like three, two and a half, three, two and a half, yeah, three? Yeah, yeah, so I don't remember anymore. The the quickest <laughs> I'm still in them. The quickest that you're getting out of them <laughs> are what, what would that be like five and a half yeah. years? Yeah, yeah, more of diapers. Right. Or I carried a term. Right. And you know, a couple years from now, we're moving on. We're our family is able to you know once you're potty trained and talking, then you're a human. And what be- car are you driving? Oh man. You gotta drive a you clown gonna, car. You're gonna need an industrial sized van. You're gonna, yeah, you would. And I know people that have this many kids, and that's what they purchased. Okay, there you they go. They purchased things that you should buy if you're running an HVAC company. <laughs> There's no, you got no business putting people in these vans. Whoa, what, what, what company are you opening? There's no windows. <laughs> Just too many kids oh. HVAC. There's just benches on the side, and you yeah. strap in against the yeah. van wall. I guess I would go like a small school bus at that point. Why not? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I, so uh, to answer this question, I mean, I, you know, the the, the birth process will be difficult from yes. an anatomy standpoint. Um, but I'm going to go well, C-section. I think that's kind of, you, you kind of, oh, I'm, you're going C-section. I'm going C-section for sure. I'm scheduling this thing. And when and, is that, when are you due? Uh, well, yes, that's the other nice thing is that now I have an excuse for my oh, belly now you, it's, you you got it oh you got I'm, nine months of eating whatever you want that's right i'm eating for two baby <laughs> oh, no. i'm i'm putting it down my baby's gonna be healthy also hair growth is excellent that when is you are true pregnant. Oh, is that it's yes. like nice oh yes gosh my wife's hair was unbelievably thick and you healthy know, yeah but then you have the child and kind of the opposite happens jason like the, hey i'll take nine months of good hair because okay. i already have like my hair is already bad. Would you get bad. nine months of good hair and eating whatever you want? You, you, you are you the perfect candidate to you, get pregnant to a, a junior. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna junior over here. I will be Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> with a baby. Give me one because I'm not dealing with five and a half years of more diapers and waiting to be able to go out. You know, you, you get to a certain age where you. Oh, can... I just want you to end up with triplets. Like it's not built into the question. But somehow, halfway during it's the turn, one additional. I know. Yeah. So where where are you two? Uh, I can't. I can't add three more children to my life. <laughs> I will endure whatever whatever stretch marks I will get. I will endure that pain, that recovery, and I'll, and I will I will remind the family every <laughs> every day. I'll remind my wife. This is I saved us from two kids. I guess I'll take three the traditional way. <laughs> All right. No way. I know. All right. Jeremy from the website says, which game would you rather play for cash? All right. So you're you're playing these games for money. Mm-hmm. Scrabble against an English professor. Oh. That's where I'm going to fail there. Jenga against a structural engineer or operation against a surgeon. 
I feel like I'm this playing is really Jenga. Easy. I'm yeah, playing it's, Jenga. It's Jenga. A structural engineer. Look, Jenga. I am. I am no. I am no structural engineer, but I promise you, I understand the structural engineering of Jenga. He's not getting a leg up on me because somehow in his studious going yeah. to a university for architecture, he's now all like, the square blocks are the same. Listen, I have a secret as to why these blocks stay up. No, we get it. There's three have, blocks across. I have a minor in Jenga. So uh, so here's the thing. I thought originally when, when you were reading this question, it was going to be against each other. Like, mm. yeah, I did too. Scrabble was O-U-T. Like, oh. I, I am not good at the word. I, I play some Scrabble. It's I fun. I suck at Scrabble. Oh, nice. I'm so bad Yeah, at that's it. the one I want then. You guys have anybody in your family that is like the savant at word games? My mom. Yeah, my stupid wife. <laughs> my my bro <laughs> my brother in law is that way, and it's and it's you can't play any. I don't care if it's Boggle or Scrabble. No, Boggle's or the one that we've we at the beginning of our marriage, first few years, we played a lot of Boggle, and then you? and then we decided stop playing Boggle or get divorced. How much of uh, words with friends did you guys play? And if, pretty I, pretty good amount. When, when that swept, I mean, and if you don't know what that is, it that's. It's called Scrabble. It's Scrabble, <laughs> but you're playing on your phone against someone who else is on their phone. And that means they are not watching you play. Oh, so you can cheat. Oh, you're Jason, you're saying this like you're just thinking of this now. The question was gonna be how what percentage of your playing words with friends was actually you playing or you just going into one of those dictionaries? I, I have a I have a pretty strong no word game rule. So I did not get into words with oh, friends. Okay. What if I had? I would have cheated. Oh, absolutely. Because I I really do genuinely enjoy winning. It's yeah, one of my that's it's one coming. of my favorite things and I I don't like to lose and so this is why I don't play games like word games because um I am bad at them. I think an uh, I think a surgeon would actually be better at operation. And I think a an, an English professor would be better at Scrabble. But I don't think a structural engineer would be better at Jenga. Comes down to for operation, it's shaky hands. I got shaky hands. Do you? Yeah. Hmm. I've just I've I've had them my whole life. But a little I got a little shake. Okay. So I can't play. I can't do the operation. Are you guys good at Jenga? Uh, I mean, am I good? Am I bad? I don't know. I I just has I'm anyone fine. actually I'm played fine. Jenga in yeah. the last ten oh, years? I have. I'm very good at Jenga. What? Yeah, I'll take you guys down. Okay. For money now? Do oh you, yes, only for money. Do you play the small scale or do you play with the the the, the bar game with the giant it's, blocks? It's more often in recent history is the giant blocks, the outdoor game. But I don't count that one, right? Like that's not it's, Jenga. No, no, because that's Jenga. The, the Jenga is a game, in my opinion, that is who will randomly be selected to lose. That's the way. I mean, Jason's nodding. I get it. I that, get you know it. what I'm saying? It's like uh, any of those games where it's like, you know, <laughs> eventually you run out of moves, right? Yeah, you're saying like at some point it's going to the person will it will land on someone where they have a much more difficult time because they you know you got to get the middle block is out drawing the short straw. To me, it's the, yeah, it's the equivalent of if if we had a, a bunch of blocks and we just stacked them, and it was like keep stacking them. Whoever stacks the one before it falls loses. That would be random. Yeah, well, except not I'm completely random. Yeah, there's there's some there's some skill there. All right, uh, Yum Spray Cheese from Patreon says, would you rather always have to have the painful tingling of a foot that's asleep or always have the feeling that you just hit your funny bone? <clears throat> so yesterday I dealt with a really severe case of my right foot being asleep. <laughs> it was incredibly painful. Painful. A severe case? I yeah, didn't know that case. there was severity. To now, it. was this like a sleeping event? No, it was literally right here. It was. Oh. It was. I, I know. I, I recall it now that you mentioned it. Yeah, I was so sitting you're, in the seat. It's. It. I think it's a skill that you were able to get your foot to fall asleep, not toilet related. Because that's the only place I can think of where where do my feet fall asleep? Right, on, on because you're like cutting the blood off of, the, of your the, leg. The porcelain so hard. Well, yeah, and it's your if if you are leaning forward. That's when you're. Oh, is you, that, is if, that why they invented the soft, uh, the soft toilet seats? No, that's hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That one's for that one's for the H. Um, but the uh, you know I totally understand. It, it's usually on the toilet, but uh, oftentimes it's because of the phone. 
especially if you are going to yes. put your arms on your legs. 100%. If you put your arms, you know, if you're resting your arms on your legs, now your legs, all the blood is being cut off. You're just yes. squeezing it. What about the explanation for yesterday? So yesterday, it was after the show. I'm sitting in this chair, and because the show was over, I'm leaning forward, totally take a toilet posture, and I'm on my phone, mm. arm on the leg, and I get up. And I hope it, it was, was just a posture. It, <laughs> I little little mess in the seat, but it was that wasn't you're you're missing the point here. The point um, is less about the 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 urine and potty, um, more about the right foot that fell asleep because it was excruciating, and I don't remember it ever being so lopsided. It was only my right one foot. foot. One foot. It's That's always two. totally no why you you get <laughs> you hold on. You guys are talking about a whole different universe. You have both your feet fall asleep at the same time? It's not just your feet. It's your entire leg. Oh, yeah. Because you're cutting it off at a much higher point. You have. I'm talking about... I sit with a foot underneath me sometimes. On the toilet? No. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little messy sometimes, but it elevates me. I can see better from up here. I had moved off the toilet, but... Uh, no, I... Um, yeah, you've had the midnight wake up with something asleep though, where you slept on the shoulder and the arms asleep. Or yeah, the, yeah, that that happens too. I can't seem to hold my phone up laying down in a bed without like an arm going to sleep somehow. Really, I've never had that one happen. Yeah, well, it's a circulation. Yeah, it's thing. because you're so tall. <laughs> Clearly, that's the issue. I think that I was gonna say the the funny bone is a much more uh like severe mo like it's in the moment it's devastating compared to the kind of. I can live with it, but it's really uncomfortable of a foot asleep. So I'm not going to go. I'm going to go permanent foot asleep. Although I have had on more than one occasion where it was both legs were gone and I stood up from the, and I've, I've almost eaten it several times. Oh, I'm there with you. Where the legs are just all of a sudden because, because the nerves aren't working. And you're not, you're not feeling Clearly how you're, you're both standing. pooping for l way too long periods of time. Look, I can, look, we don't all have squeaky clean bowels over here, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Golden Intestines. Sometimes I like Arby's. <laughs> this is, you live your life, I live mine. Yeah. I just can't believe you both are dealing with, like, you, you're, you're going, been, you're basically semi-paralyzed when you get off the potty. That's 100%. You know I mean? if, we were, if we had to jog, 100% <laughs> broken nose. No chance that I don't smash my we face. What do you do voice. then? Do you get Hold to on. the ground and, like... Inchworm your way to the yeah, bed. Yeah, you know, the, you know the scene from Wolf of Wall Street where he's crawling <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. Owl, Owl Barlett, has this ever? Have you? Oh, felt he said anything three, like this? Yeah, he said yes. Yeah, yeah. I just said, I okay. just messaged and said, make that three quarters of the yes. people in this room. I am. I I can tell you, I have not lost half my body. Mm. You're not doing it on right. the potty. <laughs> yeah, half right. my body on the potty. Hmm. All right, a guy. Uh, but that being said, I will I will take the the sleepy legs because mm -hmm. a funny bone is. A 10 out of 10 on the... Uh, and I don't do that as often as I used to. So it's even worse now. The Hitting the funny bone? The funny bone doesn't happen. It used to happen a lot as a kid. Yeah, as a kid. I was, I was trying to think. I There's like a, one very particular instance where I, re, I remember everything. I was a kid and I jumped off something and I hit my elbow and it was horrific. But I don't know the last time I've actually really dinged my funny bone. Hmm. We can work on that. All right, a guy peeing behind a dumpster from Patreon. Okay, all right. Okay, so this one comes in from Andy. <laughs> Would you rather spend 21 days on Naked and Afraid, the show, or in a jungle, or play 21 NFL games as a punt returner? Oh, man. I With really, your clothes on. Full and pads? Do I get the pads sure. as well? Awesome. Um, I really thought this was going to be as a punter, and I think I would have accepted as a punter. Yeah, of course. Because that's, that's why it's not that right. Because the punt returner is a dangerous game. Yeah, but I'm that's also 21 games as a punt returner. You're you're not going to come out unscathed unless you take a fair catch every single time. <laughs> oh, there's no rule against that. Absolutely. In I, which I, case, I, if you want to go that way, you are naked on the field. Yeah, I think for this game, you've got to say you're you're actually trying to return it. Oh man, <laughs> I am going. Straight to the sideline every time, but that oh, you're not getting matter. in those sidelines. No, there's no you way I go could backwards. ever get to the sideline. <laughs> I don't think I, if they punted it to the middle of the field and and a super long punt, and they and the rule was all I have to do is get to any sideline either way or the reverse end zone without being touched. That's all I've got to no, do. You could not do that. There's never a chance I would ever. It make would be it. so fun to watch you desperately try to get to the <laughs> sideline. <laughs> Because you turn laterally and you run as fast as you can straight laterally. Oh, man. I'd be doing quarterback slides is, as a punt returner. 
Is there any chance? I mean, you're blurred on naked and afraid. Is there any? Is there any chance the three of us? So we do 21 games as an NFL punt return. Do we make it out alive? Yeah. Yeah. Paralyzed. The, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Same I mean, as the potty situation. Badly, Paralyzed badly from the waist injured. down. I I th- I think I could I could make it out alive. I am 265 pounds right now. Okay. I can take a hit. I'm not saying I can run away from anybody or do anything of, of, of substance. I am also not saying it's going to be easy or no problem to getting tackled by an NFL player. But I, I – look, the, the, the you gunners – You could take a wallop. The gunners here on the punt team, those are the small, fast guys, and they're going to yeah. smash me. Yes. But it's not going to be the 285-pound guy plowing I'd be me in down. trouble. You would be in more trouble. You would probably yeah. break in half. I'd probably have some, yeah, now, lose some limbs. I, I I need a rundown on what goes into Naked and Afraid. I've never watched it. I assume there's nudity, and I assume you're scared. That's you, what I've I gathered mean, you, so far. You're basically dropped in. <laughs> Very stupid. <Mike. laughs> you're, you're basically <laughs> dropped in a forest, and you have no clothes, no shoes, nothing. You got to survive. Okay, so this is just a random survival for but 21 you, days. But it's you and a stranger. Wait, I have of to the be opposite I got to be nude with a stranger? Yeah. Get. <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be. Um yeah. here's the deal. I would die in that situation. <laughs> I would die of shame <laughs> much quicker. <laughs> now the blurring they do on the TV, does that come with you and is that in real life too? Right. Cuz if I could do so- <laughs> It's actually just this plastic sheet you're wearing that uh kind of has a, a it's fuzzy. A blur effect. That show is the most perfect example of modern television, right? Let's come up with, let's get Bear grills, but let's mix it up and you're naked out there. It's too That's, easy. It's just, I mean, yeah, it's too easy. I would make some clothing real quick. Did you guys hear about the, the new show coming out, Naked and Jeopardy? <laughs> it's just, it's <laughs> Jeopardy, but the contestants have to be blurred. And so oh, it's like, can no, you answer these no. questions? We should move on. In your shame? <laughs> All no. right. Um, no, no, Also, no. I'm taking the punt returner, and I just realized I will never be tackled. You'll probably get paid more. I will never be able to catch one of those punts. Yeah, that's also I will good be fumbling boy. and muffing every single punt <laughs> coming my way. I think the second you drop it, you're like fair game, though, to get smashed. Yes. I'll, I'll lay down. <laughs> All right. We have another segment coming up. Before that, a quick break. Did you know that browsing online using incognito mode, it doesn't actually protect your privacy? That's right. Without added security, you might as well just give away all that private data to hackers, advertisers, your ISP, and other prying eyes. And that is why I use IPVanish VPN. It makes it easy to stay truly private and secure on the net. IPVanish helps you safely browse the internet by encrypting 100% of your data. That means your private details, your passwords, communications, your browsing histories, everything is shielded from falling into the wrong hands. Even your physical location will be hidden. IP Vanish makes you virtually invisible online. It's that simple. If you are on the internet, you need to protect yourself. Your data is incredibly valuable and it belongs to you. And check this out. Go to ipvanish.com slash ballers and use the promotional code ballers and claim your 70% savings. That's I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H dot com slash ballers. Spitballers to the rescue. All right, before our very important and special draft, we do have some life advice to dole out. And we talked Mm -hmm. about this. This is important. this could define the rest of your life if you listen to it carefully. Uh, I don't know what the question is. Mike from the website says, I have just found out that I'm going to be a dad to a baby girl. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, you guys all seem to really hit the mark as cool dads. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> what is your advice on how I can be the hip new dad on the block? And secondly, what should I avoid? What's the most uncool dad thing that you guys have all done? Oh, oh, brother. Uh I, I I can everything I do is cool. So it, right, that's what I was gonna say. I can honestly say, like, I don't think I've ever done an uncool thing. Now, is it uncool to me or to my children? I, they've now reached the age of embarrassment, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Uh, that means you can do absolutely anything you want, and the the worse it is, the better it is because it's on purpose. I think the right. worst thing you can do is actually try to be cool. Does that make sense? You know, you're yeah, the cool well, dad. 
unless you're trying to be, you know, that that's part of being cool. That is, you can't, you can't try to be cool. You just are cool. That would be the most embarrassing thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like your friend has a <laughs> just, your 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 son or daughter has a friend over. You're just trying to be like. I'm trying to be a cool kid. You come out with your leather. You guys want some? You guys want some Twizzlers? Leather jacket on. You're like, ooh, who wants pizza pockets? Hey, <laughs> is it just Stamos now? <laughs> it's Fonzie, but close enough. I mean, but he he wants to be cool. He wants to be the hip new dad on the block. Just be you, man. Yeah, but he's not very cool, probably. Oh, yeah, Mike, probably I'm sorry not. to hear that. Not everybody's <laughs> cool. And his name Mike. That's obviously you're not, up against yeah, it. Yeah, that's tough. Um. <sighs> Well, first of all, um, you're going to want to get a couple books on dad jokes. I can recommend some for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, you need to brush up on that. I think that's going to be... I've had this these dad moments in the last few weeks where I've had to pick up the kids from school. And I'm not, I'm not proud of this. But I go to pick the kids up, and you know, you got to go in and sign the kids out in the mm -hmm. front office. Mm -hmm. And both times I am saying to myself... Please don't ask me their teacher's name. <laughs> please don't ask me. Please, please, whatever you do, don't say what class is he in. Because I'm about to be so embarrassed because oh, I can't on, remember. Man. You got to know your kids' teachers. I, that, I, at that one is... point, I did. you know my memory. I got yes. three kids. There's yes. a lot happening here. It's been a long year. They've had different teachers. But both times, I didn't think about it before. Like I could have done the research beforehand. But I go in there and I go, oh, no. What if they ask me <laughs> what class to get the kid out of? I can't believe they haven't asked. Oh, me. I know. Every time I've signed my kid out, you have to give the kid and then the <laughs> then the teacher's name. I just write, you know. <laughs> Do you really? No. Oh, I was like, I could, I could see that. It was like, oh, there'd be a funny joke. Oh, they're never God. gonna look at it. Yeah, that's 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 surprising that you don't know your. I mean, I know. I think I know. I know some teachers' names. I'm not sure which is which. Okay. I well, we haven't been on campus a lot this year, okay? Okay, that's fair. Um, uh, here's a. Uh, I'm just l perusing oh, my yes, arsenal please. of dad jokes. Oh yeah, give over give here. one. Yeah, but, a cool uh, one though. For for Mike, you can you can hit your daughter with this when she's of uh, listening age. <laughs> listening, she listens to the show. The the baby daughter, the baby girl. She, she should listen to the show. Oh, that um, different. The other Mike. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not, not you. you. No, me. I was talking to the, the <laughs> questionnaire, Mike. The Mike from the website. Uh, what kind of ice cream is bad at tennis? What kind of ice cream is bad at tennis? I don't know. Soft serve. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Yeah, man, that makes sense. Go, right. get, go get some tattoos, Mike. <laughs> That'll make you cool. Stay cool. <laughs> Adam from Patreon, as I was getting dressed for work this morning... I realize that I am all out of clean underwear. Been there. Been, yeah, we've yeah I been. mean, we've all been there. Uh, should I put on yesterday's dirty underwear, which is only one day old, or should I go to the hamper <laughs> and pull out last week's dirty underwear that has been worn, hasn't been worn in seven days? So this question is fundamentally, is recency the most important factor or time to air out? Like seven days, has something happened that's positive in seven days to that underwear? And Ab the answer is no. No, the, no, the oh, question the the answer is yes. absolutely. Like you, oh, it's better for seven days it is, to have passed. It is absolutely like, way better. It, uh, Adam, number one, you're gonna have to get over it. You're gonna have to go full in for the smell test. And you, whoa, oh yeah, you'll, oh, you, I'm willing to risk without the smell. Yeah, test. Yeah, I'm not doing the smell test. Oh, you Mike. got you got to do the smell test. Wait, are you smelling the, the crotch? Yes, <laughs> yeah, the front and back. You you got to get in there. And you got not make... just a general like <laughs> no, not just a no. Do I smell it from here? Test no, you that, got that's it. what I would do. You got to get in there. You gotta you check out, not. check it out. And then you gotta go in the hamper and put it over your head like a mask. <laughs> Wear it around. Try, try it on for size. I, I, I'm telling you, you will, you will be happier if you Listen, find the least smelly pair and you put them on. This is a psychological endeavor. This is not about smells. Both pairs should not be worn. That's the truth. In a perfect world, you're either you're just you're putting on a new pair of underwear, right? But he's out. Right, I, that's what I'm saying. So, so he's so, commando. So no, no, no. At this point in time, it's psychological. And here's what you do: you begin by taking the pair that's on the ground, that's one day old, and you move it to a place that's higher, like on a counter or on the edge of a sofa. Then Always you walk, want to put your dirty underwear on the counter. Go on. Then you walk away for a little while, and then when you come back, it will appear to you to be slightly cleaner. 
it will seem a little bit. It's moved from the floor to a location where maybe you set something clean. Why don't you just fold it, put it in your drawer? You can do that. Leave for a bit, come back. That's totally fine. I have one more pair. That's what I, it's psychological. Both pairs should not be worn. Do you inside out them? That's the right call. Interesting. But That's, then you're you're getting your jeans or your clothes, which like is fine. Direct contact, which they it's never one, have. It's one day. It's this is there, there's penalties. So you, you you end up throwing away those those. <laughs> no, you can wash the jeans. Mm. Well, look, I Adam, I can tell you from recent experience. Inside out, huh? Yeah, you. I, I mean, I've, I've heard it. I've never. I don't know if I've never been down that road. No. So no, because I, I smell test. I ordered. <laughs> Let, I, <laughs> here, breaking news: It smells, Mike. Oh, I know. But you got to find the one that smells oh, the least. Oh no, that's gross. So uh, we've Have been playing. your wife smell them for you. <laughs> we've been playing pickleball recently, I, and honey? I just yeah. No, honey, you love me, right? <laughs> Are these clean? All right, go ahead, Jason. Um, We've well, been playing you, pickleball. You, you, I, you guys should know this story. It's very recent. It was from last I week. I know where this is going. Um, and uh, I ordered some <laughs> awesome new underwear. Love them. Um, and um, they came individually packaged. They're very fancy. Mm -hmm. And so Gourmet. I, I grabbed a pair uh, of my brand new, never before opened or worn underwear, packed my gym bag, went, played pickleball, got blah, sweaty. Um, I am a sweaty man in all mm -hmm. phases of life, but I, I play sports and watch out. Um, so I, I come to the studio, we shower, we get ready. I go to change. Now I'm an XL man. Um, and I open up these brand new underwear that are individually packaged and, uh -huh. and, and my order was incorrectly given to me as a medium. And I'm telling you, this was a schmedium. <laughs> So I have a decision to make. I have soggy bottom option, nasty, wet, can wring them out shorts. Can't do it. Can't do that. Commando is an option and just go, look, I can't, I, I don't have underwear to wear. There's no option. Hey, your eyes. There's the public to think about there. Yeah. Or, I mean, I'm still wearing pants. Uh, hey, one layer. Or um, I try to put on these mediums. So I go with option three and I put on the mediums. They were tight. <laughs> And I come out, I tell you guys a story, and about five minutes later, I can't breathe anymore. And we're so back to the numb we, legs. We yeah, went, your legs were purple. We went commando. And so, Adam, I would say, do your laundry and go commando. <clears throat> Ken from Patreon, I've been waiting for a very important personal phone call all day at work. This call had large personal financial implications. I finally got the call and headed into the break room to answer it. When I walked into the break room, oh, I saw a no. good friend alone and crying about something. We made eye can't contact just before I did a 180 to take my call somewhere else. How should I have handled this situation? Uh, okay. Large personal financial. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty important call. <laughs> Sounds like. Is there any hand signal you can give somebody if you're on a personal call <laughs> to somebody that's crying that if, tells them, I'll be there to care for you soon? Can you, can you give them the one second? No. <laughs> I don't you think they'll give finger, them the, the one hold that up. cry. <laughs> yeah, I don't hold I don't, that tear. I, I don't think that's gonna play well. I think. Can you give him a virtual hug? Like, <laughs> yeah. No, this Ooh, has to hug. be. This has air to hug. be uh, a gasp at what you just heard on the phone. <laughs> Maybe yours news is as bad or worse than your friends. <gasps> and then you turn around and you're just blown away. Okay. N I now, like, I like where this is going. Now who's got the problem? Did they come to console you? Because mm. if you're both crying, who who mm. really is the one that? Needs to console the other. I think you got you got to gasp and then throw out a they what? Oh no, <laughs> disastrous. <laughs> well, now we're overselling <laughs> it a little bit too much. Um, who died? No. What you do? What oh, about a no? Ow Owl's going with I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. That, that's good. That'll work. Um, what about a note? What if you scribbled something like? I, BRB. <laughs> I am so, and I am worried in that situation that my attention would be pulled away from this important financial. If I'm writing a note, I'm not listening to this phone call, and so I that I can't go there. I really need to focus on this call. This is big financial implications. Yeah, but your friend is crying. Yeah. Okay, but but hold on. This person has been listed as a good friend. Yeah. And I, as a good friend, uh. If I if something devastating had happened to me and I would just found out, 
and then I saw you guys leave, and I'd be like, what was that all about? And, but we would, it would be all right, because you are good friends. You're you, understanding. And of- you would simply say, Mike, I was waiting for this call. There were large financial implications, and I would say, oh. I totally get it. I respect your large financial implications because I am a good friend. Now, well, that person might say, "Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you're getting a new house. Gotcha. Yeah, my, yeah, that's what I was just realizing is that the whatever is causing the cry, yeah, it might not be minor, and then you're gonna feel way worse later. Yeah, but I can't change it now. I I can't save Nana. <laughs> no, no, you can't. But, but I can, can save still close on this interest house. But race, I can, but I can lock in this 2.75%. Okay, that's a good point, Mike. You, yeah, I mean, Nana can't come back. We'll deal with that later. I got to lock my rain in. No, I mean, that makes sense. Um, what a good friend you are. I just can't imagine that this place isn't this this important financial call. They're not willing to, like, you know, call you back. That's the solution. I never thought about that as an option. Oh, hold on. I've my friend just had some really bad news. Call me back in five. But the, you've been waiting all day. You, you're so, not getting that call in five okay. minutes. Okay. How about this? How about this? I and got now it. it's three point two five. Enjoy uh, your interest rate. Oh <laughs> man, that's a lot of money, Andy. That's a lot of interest uh, over, over the life thirty of the years. Loan. Yeah. yeah. Um, what if you do this? You th- look. You've been waiting for the call. Make them wait a little bit and just say, "Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. Can you hold on one second? And you hit that mute button and you and you test the water. But you give it, you know, a five second, like, is what's going on? And then you just de- determine, like, oh, this is serious, or they're being a baby. And then you're like, I will, uh, you know what I mean? Like, well, you, he, he won 80 and walked out of the room. So what I would do is I'd, I'd get this person in on the same call. You could two birds, one stone. Three-way call. Call your friend that's crying. They hop on on the financial call, and you can talk to both of them. Uh, if you've got a good enough rate, that just might make them even more sad. <laughs> <laughs> I just locked uh, in a 4.5. <laughs> oh, no. I'm on a 5.75. Five. All right. Why uh, are interest rates changing so fast? Oh, no, <laughs> Nana and this. All right. One more quick break before we jump into our draft. Most people think that finding great talent is harder than, well, you know, I don't know, Andy making an actual good draft pick on the Spitballers podcast. But in fact, indeed, it's as easy as me firing off a wicked zinger stored from pop culture that's just in the back of my mind. When you're hiring, you need Indeed, and here's why. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed's a powerful hiring partner that can help you do it all. Finding great talent faster through time-saving tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. With Instant Match, over 80% of employers get quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job according to Indeed data. Even better, Indeed's the only job site where you only pay for applications that meet your must-have requirements. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash ballers. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at Indeed.com slash ballers. Indeed.com slash ballers. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. The Spitballers Draft. All right. We are drafting the best elements on the periodic table. I, you know, something that we know so very much about. There's a, a number of elements on there, and uh, we're going to draft the best. Wait, how many? Wait. Just how many elements? Are, I'm going to guess 144. Okay. Just pure guess. Okay. All right. My my In my head, it just went to 128. Okay. This is literally just- I a, don't know. This is a I, high school guess. I'm not cheating. We know Jason will Jason. cheat, but go on. Uh, no, no, no. My hands are, are, are up. I'm going to say- do you have a Wait, chart what? in front of you? What? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, how many uh, did you both guess? Yeah. How many did you? I'm I guess one. I guess one forty-four. One twenty. Oh, one twenty-nine. Oh, is it one twenty-nine? It's one eighteen. Oh, oh, you're oh, closest. Bryce is right. So Mike wins. We all lost. All right. Yeah. All right. The best elements. Now there are factors here in play. There are cool elements. There yes. are there are uh, bountiful elements. Uh huh. There are some 
real stupid elements. Yeah. So, Mike, you get the first pick. All now, right. you said there's a definitive 101. I'm trying to play myself into Mike Wright's brain and what because okay. he's a you know he's a bit of a science guy. I'm trying to think. I, I think you're going to prioritize the essential nature of an element and not the cool factor. But we'll find well, out right now. Well, mine is coming through with all of those things. And it's coming through with a bunch of danger on top of that. Okay. I, I can go back in time with this element if I need to. I can power a city with this because it's radioactive, my man. I am taking plutonium. Okay. Plutonium, baby. Are, are we... That's an element, right? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, that's the one I thought wasn't. Well, someone needs a brush up on their science. Because Plut plutonium is uh, not a natural occurring element, I believe, is the situation. Because you have now uranium is part of it, though, isn't it? And uranium's an element. Correct. Well, no, uranium is an element, and plutonium is an element. They're both elements. Yes. So okay, I, so I got I, to the point where plutonium was. Uh, it's a great pick. I'm taking now that I know it's really an element. I am taking PU. Oh, plutonium, stinky, and Which is I just a nice you. bonus. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I, just, I, I had three. Like there was a there's a there's a top three to me, and that wasn't in there. I'm not saying it's a bad pick. Um, Mine I, glows, my man. Yours is going to be popular uh, out there with the with the science crowd. Um, but I'm going to be honest. I'm I'm going to take the, the the true best element. Okay, the actual most important element. I'm not going to mess around here. Uh, it's not the fanciest. It's the most common in the universe. Oh. It makes up oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. almost three quarters of the visible universe in weight. And yet, and yet it is the lightest element. How much Google? What are you doing over here, Wikipedia? One, I am telling you, Mike, zero Googling, zero anything. This is pure already knowledge I had. I am a big fan of hydrogen. Okay. I can make bombs. <laughs> I can make the universe. <laughs> hydrogen is everything. Hydrogen is like the, the main building block of our universe. I'm thankful that you took that. It's also number one. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 have, look, I have hydrogen. It's on my list, and it's the only one that actually has a note. And the note is, it's number one on the list. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was a little worried because my number one that I'm going to go with here, and I guess I have two picks, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to go with carbon. Carbon is the my number yep. one pick. That's a good pick. Um, diamonds, come on. I mean, uh, us. We're all yeah. yeah we are all carbon. of us. Twenty percent of <laughs> carbon life forms. We're I all I've, stardust, man. I've been called carbon life form. Life, before. diamonds, what coal, hands, diamond. Yeah. Di all right. <laughs> uh, so I will go with carbon as my oh, first it's, pick. It's, the it's essential building block. And um, what I, I what I do like, and I reckon because carbon's on my list as well. What I recognize about these is, like, you want to be first. You know, like it, it's unfortunate that I wasn't uh, hip enough to realize what Twitter was going to be, and I could have grabbed at Mike. You know, you're one of the OGs. Right. But I mean, like, carbon's coming through. What's what's the what's what's the short for carbon? C. Oh yeah, that's it. Because that's how cool it is. Mm -hmm. C. Yeah, hydrogen has that too with the H, but yeah, you don't you don't need a further abbreviation. Yeah, I don't, I don't need another letter because yeah. it's C. I always feel like Tuesday and Thursday compete. They do oh, for sure. Yeah. They're so stupid. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> carbon is number one for me. This is where it's difficult because I've got some sneaky picks that I think will come back to me. I mean, there are two home run picks here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with gold. Yeah, I'm going oh, with gold. It. <laughs> that, it's the one that makes the least sense to come back to me. Yeah, oh, it, it would never would have it never. It's it's incredibly shiny, guys. Have you seen gold lately? Uh, I hear it's very valuable. It's I, wonderful. It's valuable. It's uh, now, but the the symbol though, the, the symbol, symbol is throws the, you off. The symbol's the stupidest. What is it? I don't even have it up. Is AU? AU. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. What gold? What? That's because somebody <laughs> saw it one day and went, oh. oh. I, oh. I believe that is from the Latin word for yellow. Is the origin of the AU? No, no, no. It's from oh, but it's but it's not yellow. It's gold. 
Well, yeah. I know. They are so two that, different colors. That's what I'm saying. Like this is this is Back a bad then, pick. They didn't know how this to. A bad pick. This AU? is a bad pick. A U. I'm I'm being swayed. Yeah. It's not a great one. It's yellow it's and it's not real a great one. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going with gold. You guys can uh, <laughs> take your bitterness out on me it's, later. It's really the only thing I had against the gold pick is is the stupid. Also, symbol. you're just wrong. Yeah, owl has correct. It comes you. from the Latin word orum, meaning gold. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes more sense. Dive deeper, my friends. Um, all right, yellow. I'm, you drafted yellow. I am. Um, I am up, and I'm going to take. Look, I, I thought there were a big three. Gold was one of my big three. Obviously, hydrogen is uh, one of them. As I took, and I'm taking oxygen. I yeah. mean, we all yeah, need it's a it. Great, it's a great. Pick. It's everywhere. Hydrogen and oxygen. I, I can do some. I can do some things with this. You yep. need a little bit more oxygen than the hydrogen. Well, that's going to be tough because hydrogen's everywhere. Uh, I thought about going oxygen with the carbon. I just didn't want two basics. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. but I just I wanted got, something shinier. I just got water. I yeah, literally, I, 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 I got an extra thing. Yeah. <sighs> Man. I could buy a lot of water with my gold. Just, just <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> Not if I've got all the water. Well, all right. Um, Mike, you are back up. You got two picks. Oh, man. I was hoping one of those at least would come through. All right. Including oxygen? Was that on your yeah, list? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ox uh, I mean, I, if I were making the case the for o. oxygen, it's the big O. If I were making the case for oxygen, fire would be part of it. I mean, you need it for fire. That's true. It is the fuel. Yeah. All right, Mike. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dip my toes here into some uh, into some metal. We're yeah. Dive, dive I'm gonna, deeper. I'm gonna, Are gonna you literally gonna dip in there? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get in the metal game, and I get it, it gold. It was like it was everything you know for a while it's kind of well busted now totally and, and we've we've moved on bitcoin we've moved on to better uh, uh better metals yeah gold mm. is worthless yeah you got to get that platinum my friend oh okay. platinum because you're getting your jewelry do people don't want gold jewelry you get platinum jewelry now way better yeah i uh we we had to change my wife's my wife's wedding ring to her platinum band. we had to change it to platinum like her her engagement yeah, ring was platinum that's right oh but then her wedding band was gold oh which one did you and, get rid of and she had a allergic reaction to the gold oh no because and, gold and it sucks. took us 14 years <laughs> to Aww. change it out she literally would take the ring off for like two weeks put it back on take it off put it back on we fixed that problem oh man so i have one so you're going platinum i'm going with platinum okay uh it platinum is very shiny very pretty that's pt pt <laughs> all right I will take the PT pick, please. Uh, I have a pick that I have. I guess I will just take. I'm Wait, not... so you have PU and PT so far? Oh man! Oh goodness! Is there any more P's on there? I mean, there are definitely. You can get palladium. palladium. Mm. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Jinx! Did you guys just science jinx? I love, yes. Science jinx! <laughs> I love Michael Keaton. Um, <laughs> you're supposed to say I love Bill Nye. Uh, oh, th there nice. are there are some other P's out there, Mike. I'm throw, sure you can throw find. Throw them at me. Throw them at me. Lead? You can go with lead because that's- Oh, lead. But lead is just- But PB. So yeah, peanut butter. It's as dumb as gold. All right. I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to take it. I've got the one that I- <laughs> You've had it out for gold all, all your life. Uh, I'm, I'm just- I'm a little nervous that it's on your list yeah. and it won't make it back. And I would just be too devastated if it didn't because- uh, You could just go with P, too. Wait, what's the P? The OGP. What phosphorus. Oh, oh that's, that's pretty boring. <laughs> phosphorus. Just Jason's platinum. Jason, boron. Jason can take some phosphorus. <laughs> More like borophil. Um, uh, what do you got? So, so speaking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick him with the uh, the theme of pretty. And when uh, look, when you go to Vegas and it's nighttime. Oh, well, okay. I'm taking those neon lights, yeah. baby. Mm. I will take neon. I will take any. I have no idea if it was on your list, but. I can't. I can't leave this draft without taking. It was an emergency pick for me. I I got to get it. So yeah, you got, can, that's N E. Yes, number I can ten. See that I can see. Of course you can because it's neon, Chase. <laughs> that's, oh. that's fair. I can see it a whole lot easier <laughs> than my oxygen. Um. All right. Okay. Okay. I I was worried that you were okay. there's there's two that I kind of want left. Um. One I thought only you would pick. Um, I don't think I worry about Andy, so I'm safe there. And it's a, it's a late round pick. It's nothing special. Okay, it's not even good. Um, it's a terrible, <laughs> terrible pick. That will be coming shortly. Um, we don't know what it is, and now you have just down talked your pick. Yes, I have. 
Um, instead, I'm going to go uh, like you and Mike with a metal. Except, you know, you're, you're platinum, you're gold, you're soft. I'm titanium. Okay. Oh, friend. I, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm getting like my wedding ring, uh -huh. you know, get a nice titanium band. I'm going to be protected uh, completely. So my titanium, I, you know, you put that in, I don't know, do they put it in trucks and stuff like <laughs> strong things? <laughs> <laughs> you just had to keep going, making yeah. your case. Uh, yeah, little, they, they probably use that in uh, yeah, big metal sticks. They put that in lead pipes, or is that lead? <laughs> Darn it. All right, so what are your selections so far? I've got hydrogen, oxygen, and titanium. Okay, and Mike, what are you up to? Plutonium, platinum, and neon. Okay. And I have carbon, and I have gold. Oh. And I have, I have oh. Oh. <laughs> I have a decision to make here. Two of them, actually. And I'm going to go with the only metal that is liquid at room temperature. Hmm, Do you okay. know what it is? I oh, I, I, I it is, is mercury. Poisonous. I'm yes. going with mercury. It's cool. It's toxic. Yeah, enjoy but your that's not death. A, I mean, yeah, yeah, plutonium over there is just fine. Um, yeah, I think it's cool. It, it dissolves uh, gold and silver, believe it or not. Oh, so that's not a good pick for you. Well, no, I mean, I'm not dissolving myself. I couldn't let you get it and dissolve my element away. Did you know volcanoes spew it out? Uh, the you know the, the term, people used to play with mercury. Do you know that? Yes, my I do. dad played with mercury as a kid. Uh, Makes the, a lot the term of sense. the yeah. term Mad Hatter, Mad, like, or Mad as a Hatter, it's related to mercury because they like they would wash somehow they would wash furs in mercury or something. Interesting, and then. So it would end up going into the hats. That's crazy. I used to drink the juice out of the thermometers, and it was like <laughs> the juice. Yeah, you, and it's like a glow. I mean, just you, you crack just that thing it open, and you dump it. Now in. you know, of course, because I have a theme going on of more like complex, nuanced, neat, cool elements. Oh, there's a theme um, going on. Yeah, here's Ugh. here's the theme. Do you want to know what the abbreviation for mercury is? It's obvious. Uh, yeah, I would love to know. It's HG. <laughs> oh man, Mr. Wells. So uh, mercury, yeah. That's, Mercury. that's my pick. Wait, H do I have another pick? You sure do. All righty. <laughs> really didn't need to wait for something to come back then, did I? Nope. <sighs> He's going to go sulfur. Oh, All right. Stinky, the stinkiest the of stinkiest. the elements. <laughs> <laughs> Although, don't, really, you don't got, bait me into sulfur, guys. <laughs> you've got PU. You should have gone sulfur. Sulfur smelled so bad. Yes. Have you been to like a national park where they have the like the bubbling pools? Like uh, I have not. Mm -hmm. I've farted, though. <laughs> I create sulfur. Um, no, you don't, do you? I don't think sulfur comes out of your butt, Jason. No, I do. I'm not I saying that's methane, what happens for people. I'm saying I <laughs> you personally create sulfur. Yeah. Um, and you sulfur through it. Oh man, <laughs> I I was thinking it and I didn't want to say it. <laughs> All ten right, out of ten. I am going to go with helium. I'm gonna go with helium. Okay. Not only does it make your voice funny when you yeah. when you uh, talk with uh -huh. helium in your lungs, coolest element. And we are and we're rapidly running out. Liquid helium forms at negative two hundred and sixty nine really? yeah, degrees you know, there's, Celsius. There's a helium shortage. There's a helium shortage. There has been. Mm -hmm. There has been. Now is, is are they gonna make more? Um, I, I don't think that's this how is it no works. laughing matter, Jason. <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, no, helium is the, the one I'm going to go with. And yes, they just have to... They, how do you get helium? You dig it up? I don't know. It's well, I feel like if you dig it up, you got to be careful because it will float away on you. <laughs> that's my. I think that's why we're running so low on helium is it's all flying away. <laughs> they all miss the string. It's extracted from natural gas, a byproduct of radioactive decay of uranium and thorium. Oh, that sounds like something I shouldn't have inhaled before. <laughs> I mean, because I've I've sucked a lot of helium out of balloons before. That does not sound safe. When you read that again, uh, it's extracted from natural gas, a byproduct of radioactive decay of uranium and thorium. Radioactive decay in the lungs has mm. to be good. Get this: much of the extraction in the United States and the world comes from underground gas fields in Texas, in Kansas. Wow! So, All right, there you go. Boo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> yep. So I will close out my elemental draft here. Carbon, gold, mercury, helium. All right. I know where I'm going. I thought this would be my fourth pick from the get-go. The only person I thought might take it might be Mike. Mostly just because it's a cool name. 
It's a cool place. Oh, yeah. I'm going Krypton, I thought baby. About it. Thought I don't about know it. what it is, <laughs> but I know that it produces something that can get in Superman's <laughs> way. Superman. It, it's a uh, it's a noble gas. Oh yes, it is. Which yeah. I always thought was an interesting category yeah. in the periodic table. Like I these aren't just gases; these are noble. Krypton. <laughs> You're thinking of kryptonite, right? No, I'm thinking of my <laughs> noble gas. Oh, you make a oh, noble man. gas. Just so many fart jokes. Uh, apparently, here I'll help you out. Krypton's a part because it was on my list. Makes up lasers. Oh, oh, that's yeah. cool. It's also part pew, pew, pew. of part of the atmosphere on a certain red planet. Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, Krypton was green, but okay. I, I thought it was green too. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> okay. To- tomato, tomato. Um, and it, it, you know, Kr. So a very traditional. <laughs> All right, I like it. Makes sense. Kind of elemental abbreviation. Well, fellas, I am baffled. I am baffled that this element made it back to me uh i'm just i'm i'm gonna take another metal i'm gonna take fee iron i'm gonna take fe i'm going to take iron yeah which i think is stronger than titanium probably not i'm not sure i but don't I'm, think so look they make real real strong stuff out does of iron, iron right? corrode you corrode all right don't talk about my iron fair point it rusts. What? <laughs> it Emphysema rusts. Al over there. What the heck? <laughs> it, it, I, gotta, I just got to tell them this immediately. It rusts. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that's the symbol of gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we he's love not you, happy. Al. No, he's um, super upset. All right. Hey, here's some of the not oh, drafted but exciting elements to me that I didn't mention. Magnesium. Okay. Because it burns underwater. Oh, I, magnesium. That's, that's is, pretty that's, dope. That's fireworks, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure about <laughs> Could that. Could be. Uh, I had uh, sodium. Yeah, I should have taken that because oh, I yeah. love it. Yeah, I, I figured sodium would go in this trash. No wonder you took the lightest element. And then <laughs> projecting? <laughs> and Hoping. Then, and then, and then silver was on here, but I, I yeah, yeah, after gold. I couldn't take silver after You're getting gold. second place. I had to go to platinum, which we all know is above gold. Is also, Al still here? No. <laughs> he has passed on. Let me check. <laughs> oh, he is still here. Okay. Um, all right. Did you have any more, Jason? Uh, I really just wanted to get to sodium. Um, I, yeah, it's you, one of my absolute favorite things. How did things. you not take sodium? I was really captivated by Superman okay. at the end of this draft. So uranium and plutonium are both elements. Mm-hmm. They're two, two away They're just from not- each other naturally occurring elements. Correct. Uranium is? Isn't uranium naturally occurring? Ah, you're asking them, not a scientist. <laughs> no. Now, the, what I had talked about at the beginning of the show was um, I was just, you know, like metals are elements. It's like, oh, well, perfect. I'll draft steel. But but s- that's but that's a combination of what? Iron and something? Yeah. It's like you are taking stuff out of iron. You yeah. guys scared me because when, you, you know, I've been doing all my research just looking at the, the, the periodic table. Uh-huh. And then I thought for a second at the beginning of this show that you were like, well, not everything on the periodic table is an element. I was like, oh, cr- I <laughs> oh no. no. I have no idea which ones are what then. So you were looking at the periodic table of, of elements. elements, worried <laughs> that some of them were not now, elements. Mike, if we put our elements together, we make steel because it's an alloy of iron and carbon. Ah. That's how you make it. And, and uranium be... does naturally occur. Oh, okay. fantastic. Okay. I should so. dig some of that up. Yeah. Well, that you already you inhaled most of it with the helium, probably. Mm-hmm. All right. I think we're done with the old <laughs> elements. What a draft. What a draft indeed. What did we learn today? I learned that structural, structural engineers, <laughs> whatever, uh, have a great advantage when they're playing jenga oh apparently that they do i learned that andy has not really enjoyed a proper double leg toilet uh you gotta get into your into your poops man and i learned that uh, jason really hates gold i mean just straight up Uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, unless i drafted it in which case it would have been great that'll do it for the show on behalf of (laughs) al moron we want to thank you spit lots Thank you for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. He's shaking his head.
Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com. Ugh.